congregational prayer, there are a couple things uh, I wanted to update you on. Uh, one is um, that yeah, please continue to pray for Lita. She is um, she is recovering. She is um, doing better for sure uh, than she was, um, but she ha still has recovery road to go. So please uh, continue to pray for her and for Bill as they journey together on that. And thank you very much for all the connections that you have uh, made with them over the past number of weeks. Uh, they, they have mentioned to me on numerous occasions how much they appreciate that and how uh, loved they feel. So please continue to pray for that. Also, um, if you could please uh, continue to be in prayer for Charlotte. Um, Charlotte, um, as you maybe saw, um, if you looked at the bulletin, our church family, Charlotte um, has been having some real health struggles. Um, she was at CHEO yesterday where they did some testing and uh, did some rehydrating and so on. She is home now, um, but please uh, be in prayer for her. Um, she is also having to realize that, that some of what she's struggling with is chronic, and she will um, probably have to struggle with uh, health on and off uh, for forever. Uh, unless God intervenes miraculously uh, or some medical advances are found, um, that, is, uh, that is a hard thing for anybody to deal with. So please be in prayer for that. Now, let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so very much for bringing us together this morning. We praise your name that you have not only sent your son to come and to save us, to walk with us, to be one of us, and yet to be also fully your son, but also, O oh God, that he has become our king and forged us into a community, a body of believers, your children on this earth. So, Lord, we praise you for that. And though we are far from perfect, we are so grateful for your mercy and for your Spirit working in us to shape us anew so that we may more and more come to resemble our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that you will guide us throughout this service as you have already done that You will enable us to worship and to praise You even more. Lord, we pray that as we come to the message in a little while, that You will open our hearts and minds, that we may hear what You would have us hear. We pray as well, O oh God, that You would be with the people of this community, of Athens and all the surrounding area, O oh God. Father, we pray in particular that you will be with, uh, with Cliff and those who are going to participate in the community Christmas dinner. We pray for those who are uh, helping with the food bank and, and creating the, the gift baskets there for, for, for Christmas and those patrons of the food bank who could really benefit from those. Lord, we pray as well for the mission to seafarers and for the gift baskets that will be going out from there. We pray that you will comfort those who are far from home at this time. O oh Lord God, we pray as well for the Ottawa Christian Reformed Campus Ministry and for Sid Ipma, and for the board, and for the students, and all of those who participate in that ministry. We pray a blessing upon them. We thank You so much for the work that they do and that other chaplains and chaplaincy ministries do throughout this country. Lord, we pray that these, our tithes and offerings, would be pleasing in Your sight. That they would lift to You a pleasing aroma. And that they would go to the spread of Your kingdom. We pray this, O oh well, also as Lord, also, O oh Lord, 
with regards to the budget here at the church. Lord, may it not be that we are just seeking to keep afloat an institution with which we are comfortable, but instead, O oh Lord, may this be ever a base of encouragement and strengthening and support for the spread of Your good news through each and every one of us as we go about all that You have called us to do. Father, we pray as well for this world. We pray especially this morning for, uh, for both coasts of this country and this continent. Lord, we think of British Columbia and Washington State, and we think about the East Coast too, where provinces are suffering from flooding there um, in both, both ends of this country. Lord, please, have mercy upon them. Especially, O oh Lord, as the West Coast experiences more rain. Lord God, we pray too for this world and for COVID and for all the implications that that has had so far upon this world and for all that that continues to do for this world. Lord, we think especially of the peoples of southern African countries as they face the Omicron variant. And many times their vaccination levels are already quite low. Lord, we pray too for places like Michigan and countries like the Netherlands and other European countries where there continue to be rises in COVID infections and deaths. At the same time, O oh God, we do not want to give in to fear or run scared from things of this world, whether they be viruses or propaganda, O oh God. And so, Lord, we pray that since You are the God of truth, and since Your Son, Jesus, declared to us that He is the way, the truth, and the life, we pray, O oh God, for a spirit of discernment in us and for truth to break through in every area of life on this earth. Father, we pray as well for young couples who are seeking to get married in coming months, for young families and for expectant mothers. Lord, we pray a blessing upon all of them. And Lord, we pray a blessing upon university and college students as well as they are heading into final projects and, and exams in coming days. Lord, for all people, we pray for Your hope to come through in their lives. And, O oh God, as we send our children off to Sunday school, we pray that You will bless them and their teachers and helpers as well. May they, too, grow in all truth and wisdom. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Children age three and up to, uh, you know, whatever inspires you, head off with Mrs. V. She is going to be back there waiting for you and enjoy your time in Sunday school.